Welcome to Album of the Week, episode 19, January 2023. For those of you new to this channel, here at Screen Blast Repeat, we bring you all things Extreme Metal Prog and Dark Alternative. You can read our daily reviews at www.screenblastrepeat.com. As a reminder, our definition of Album of the Week means our favourite record from a shortlist of eight. Today, we review the new record from German intellects Ahab, their new LP is called The Coral Tombs, and they released it by a Napalm Records on the 13th of January, 2023. As the self-styled purveyors of nautical doom metal, Germany's Ahab take their name from the famous captain of Herman Melville's Moby Dick and base their LPs on classic sea adventure novels. This time, they take Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas as the material for album number five, and they sound as cinematic and as captivating as ever. In truth, nothing sounds like this in the canon of doom metal or in any other genre of heavy guitar music. Ahab received much praise as one of the pioneers of the funeral doom genre for their 2006 debut, Call of the Wretched Sea, but you wouldn't use that label to describe their current trajectory. Yes, the Coral Tomb seldom gears up beyond 60 beats per minute, and the band used down-tuned guitars with the same iconoclastic vigour as Gorguts, but this record has more in common with the progressive death metal as Black Crown Initiate than Black Sabbath. It makes the atonal black metal intro of Professor Aronek's Descent into the Vast Oceans even more surprising when your expectations prepare you for an introspective piece of morbid posturing. Guest vocalist Chris Noir of German black metal band Ulta conjures the hostile seas in the bite and hiss of his voice as the guitars and drums emulate the aggression of the mysterious submarine that tossed Professor Aronax and Ned Land into the ocean in Vern's story. Then the guitar chords lift at 1 minute and 15 seconds and the storm passes. Clean guitar musings appear and Daniel Droster switches the mood from chaotic metal to post-rock with his trademark baritone projections. You might think you've stumbled into a Radiohead album in the way Droster tries to escape his sorrows. Listen to the magical guitar melodies and intricate bass phrasings as the band navigate back into the arms of danger with a crushing distortion. Where did these eight minutes go in such a short space of time? The biggest mistake you can make is to assume this is a lethargic album for the niche fanbase of Funeral Doom. If anything, this is progressive metal. Of course, the band want you to breathe the cold ocean air, inhale the frozen water of the icebergs and detect the wet pungency of giant squids, but you need a novel to create this sense of place. Instead, Droster's sinister growl vocals and malevolent drag of the palm-muted guitars heighten your sense of danger. The extended riff passages and high-register guitar melodies sparkle in the darkness of minor key progressions, as if you'd ask Radiohead to cover a Mastodon album with Paul Burr as the executive producers. There's no reason to be discouraged by the 1 hour and 6 minutes running time of this record. Mobile East in Mobile Eye utilizes a monstrous double kick beat and enhances the steel plated stress of the bass strings with My Die and Bride guitar harmonies and discordant fret shapes. Droster's classical baritone voice aches with anguish and foreboding, like the reclusive Ned Land who sinks into a Great Depression in the novel. The B minor brilliance of The Sea as a Desert thrives on a contrast between the conjuring of an evil mind and the determination to seek a haven of safety. Leprous would sound like this if they darkened their songs and started listening to Catatonia. The intricate chord progressions ruminate in distress, 
arpeggios vibrate like diesel-powered machines approaching their warranty date. A coral tomb does to invoke Talk Talk's later work, and the A minor experimentation of the non-singles from the Tears for Fears classic, Songs from the Big Chair. Yet the album uses its doom metal foundations as the platform for its expeditionary risks. How can an LP of such great length be so enthralling? This band have no right to enchant you when they have such little concern for your attention. But that's because they know their music is sophisticated, tense and unpredictable. Droster's growl vocals on the Maelstrom match the fear inherent in the guitar chords. The desperation in his voice as he recites the famous line in the book from Captain Nemo, Oh almighty God, enough, enough, will make you shudder. Here, Ahab embraced the storm and let Mother Nature control their destiny. And, of course, the doom metal crunch and searing dissonance of the amps threatened to swallow you into the bottom of the ocean. The term they used to describe their music might be contrived, but Ahab are right about one thing. They have a unique sound that belongs to them. The Coral Tombs is a magnificent album that leaves you astonished by the quartet's ability to make doom metal so riveting and addictive. You cannot take your mind off this record during the listen experience, nor can you forget it after the event. So, after careful consideration, we give this album a 9 out of 10. If you like this album, we recommend you check out the following records. Black Crown Initiate's 2020 classic, Violent Portraits of Doomed Escape, Radiohead's legendary 1997 album, OK Computer, and Catharos 13's Chthonian Transmissions LP from last year. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and more importantly, please visit our website at www.screenblastrepeat.com for the latest album and EP reviews from established, up and coming, and unsigned artists in the worlds of extreme metal, prog, and dark alternative.